I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Play Anno 1404. Not the first game in the Anno series, but certainly one of the most iconic. So let's go ahead and jump into the campaign. Chapter 1, Declaration of Faith. So I wasn't really sure whether I wanted to do the campaign for this series, or just go straight into the open map city building. Uh, but, uh... I don't know, we'll try the campaign for a while. Maybe if it gets too boring, I'll just end it, and then we'll hop over to the continuous map. I have not really played the game. Um, I mean, aside from just an open world uh, map, and then, of course, I did that series on Anno Online, which was a very simplified version of this, and didn't at all have uh, a lot of the same mechanics. Everything is so much clearer and obvious with hindsight, an illusion, as God moves in mysterious ways. Who would have thought that of all people, the one person who in Anno Domini 1404 took possession of their fiefdom, situated in a minor province of the Empire, would soon be mentioned in the same breath as the greatest heroes of our times? I'll have to check on the volume. Pardon me for being so gloomy. I'm afraid terrible news overshadows your arrival. Our beloved Emperor, my esteemed cousin, has been stricken by a puzzling illness. Go on. I think the uh, cinematic camera Shall here is mistimed. This cathedral to beg to God in his mercy to spare our ruler. But the construction work is progressing far too slowly. Come on. Next part. Ah, but where are my manners? I am Lord Northborough, his majesty's seal bearer. I will lend you a hand until you've settled down here. Despite being eight years old, I think this game still looks pretty good on max settings. I think I can turn subtitles on for this guy what here soon. What a settlement your new home is. But only when you familiarize yourself with every aspect of it will it blossom into a splendid metropolis under your rule. Can I have control? Oh, I'd like to move this along. Here we go. Finally. Chapter 1, A Declaration of Faith. I don't know why the D Come is my ship lowercase. So that we can administer your oath of loyalty there we go. and officially grant you these lands. I don't know that that's actually going to help any of you. You probably can't see it unless you're watching it full screen. But uh, here we go. Ah, now to cut to the chase. By the power of my office as His Majesty the Emperor's seal bearer, I herewith grant you this island. May you always act wisely and justly. The people okay. live a life of privation, and only their steadfast faith helps them bear their burdens. You should build a chapel. It won't hurt to pray for the ailing Emperor either. You good? Okay. Well, can I build anything yet, First, or...? You should have a quick look at the marketplace. It's the heart of every settlement. Remember, all your subjects need access to this place so they can meet and hold a market. All right. So, uh, the You'll setup need here... You a large number of helpers to build the chapel. I know all about construction sites. You have killed two birds with one stone. More subjects will not only enable you to build the chapel, but you will also fill your city coffers with more tax income. I did cut him off there just a little bit. But good grief. You should definitely have a look around your warehouse, while your population are moving into their new houses. Just look at that. All your goods are stored here, and everything has been meticulously written down. Yay. 
Your wood supplies are dwindling. You should quickly hire some lumberjacks. I was also hoping that you would later provide me with some wood for the Imperial Cathedral. You know, I guess I'll put this over here. I think this city does carry over for a while. We can always move this stuff. You get back the resources you put in, which is nice. And I guess we have to connect these, don't we? So we'll just uh, connect them up to the road. How can the market yes, I'm getting to it. Plants without a road. Ah, excellent. Now there's nothing to keep you from starting new construction projects. And, God willing, you'll soon help me work on the scaffolding for the Imperial Cathedral. Maybe. I guess we have How to. How can the market carts collect the finished goods from the plants without a road to the warehouse? There's freaking roads. Boy, he is snarky right now. <sighs> anyway, as I was saying, we're not going to advance him just yet. Might I give you a small piece of advice? You should build a fisherman's hut. Quickly. A hungry population is like my goodness. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Okay, fine. <sighs> so we're having to deal with the default setup for the city. Because uh, this is actually a 5x6, not a 6x6. Six six. I would like to set this up as a 6x and move this over one. That way we can line these up a little bit nicer. However, I guess it's not really necessary. I don't know how long we're going to be on this island. So I won't worry about that. What I do know, though, is that this is not ideal. Having uh, the population center close to the dock, uh, I'm going to have to expand out here when we later create other industries consider building the fisherman's hut yes okay so we just need more wood and we need how much wood three okay we'll just speed this up until we get our three wood there we go wonderful the fisherman has started work your population will thank you for your foresight so is that what it's telling me it was i mean okay the guy just hasn't been by, but it does connect, right? It looks like it does, he just hasn't been there. How are we to entreat God's mercy if the cathedral is far from being finished? I simply cannot find enough wood for the scaffolding myself. Alright. So now we've got to get more wood. Uh, wood seems to be a very, very important resource in this game, just to get anything going. Uh, I did play just a little bit to refamiliarize myself uh, on the uh, the open maps, and uh, yeah, you need like six different woodcutters huts if you want to do anything quickly. That's another thing about this game and the way I play it, and probably this series. Probably going to be a little bit slow just in general, uh, because I, as you may know if you've watched me for a while, I'm a rather cautious builder. I don't like to overexpand too much too early. And uh, that is one of the reasons why I was not so uh, thrilled about doing the campaign, just because it's already slow enough as it is, and uh, my play style is kind of slow as well. But the trade-off then is that if we went over to a full uh, open-world map, then it would be equally slow because then I'd be playing at my own pace. At least here I have goals and things like that to go towards. I guess we can speed ah, that up. Ah, I see you found some wood for me. Can my sailors start loading the ship? Yes. You truly are an immense help. If this cathedral cures the Emperor, he will thank you as well for your loyalty. All right. I'm putting you in command of this ship as thanks for your help. You'd better board the ship now, as the crew is most eager to meet you. I see you have found your ship. You must be longing to explore the waters around your new home. Oh, you know it. You'll have plenty of opportunities. Okay. Oh dear, your gift. I completely forgot to give it to you. And to make matters worse, it fell overboard as I was leaving. The crate must be floating somewhere in the ocean. Luckily, not very far. Ah, oh, what a stroke of luck. The goods crate is intact. If you lay those tools out in the warehouse to dry, you will certainly be able to use them. 
I don't really care for the mechanics as opposed to, say, Anno 2070. Um, they're a little bit clunky as far as navigating your ships. Like, you can't set waypoints as far as I can tell. At least it doesn't use the shift key if it does. I'll have to look at the hotkeys again. Um, and then you can't lay down a spread of housing either, unless there's another way to do that. You have to do it one by one. There we go. Excellent. I see that you're familiarizing yourself with the sextant and the spyglass. That will make life much easier. Indeed. I'd like to ask a favor, please. There are so many hungry mouths to feed on the cathedral construction site that there's hardly any food left for the stonemasons on my island in the south. Could you spare them some of your fish? All right. Let's have a look. Ah, excellent. Well, fortunately, I've got a ton of it. Some supplies in stock. Ten tons, actually. All right. That so then, I need to send it ah. to that location down there. And uh, we'll just speed this up. Not enough people live in your settlement yet to start construction of the chapel. A few more peasant houses wouldn't hurt. That's my missing cargo for the cathedral construction site. The ship must have run aground on the reef during the last storm. Would you be so good as to bring me the crates? So the game is throwing many things at me at once. And I guess for a basic tutorial mission that's kind of nice, because it's already dragging as it is, but um, it does make it a little hard to get immersed right away. There you are. Can my workers start unloading the cargo now? Yes. Thank you. Oh, while you're here, kindly transport this cargo of stone to the cathedral construction site immediately. They're urgently awaiting it. All right. I believe that is the last mission in this tutorial that we have to get. I think this is an optional mission. And speaking of optional missions, uh, there's another one. Is it this church? Where is it? Can you imagine? My master builder has vanished without a trace, and I can't complete the cathedral without him. Please find him for me. Okay, he's just right over here. You found the Master Builder. Thank God. Here, take these gold coins as payment for your efforts. It's a lot of money just for something so simple. There is another one, I think. I'm probably not going to do a 100% on all that. Um, just because. It's kind of annoying. Uh, oh, well, okay, right. Let's finish up this. There's more to this than just the one. It'd really be nice if they designed the numbers just a little bit better. They're kind of hard to see. Pick, pick it up. There we go. And I think the last one's up in here. So where do I get... Kindly salvage that ship's cargo. I urgently need it to build the cathedral. All right. So we can buy some tools... But I think if I go here, it's gonna end it. Well, no, I've got to, I've got to finish the chapel, don't I? Or is this a, also an optional quest? I don't remember. So, yeah, see, so you can tell by the little stars here, the missing cargo is a silver level mission. Uh, it's just extra. Really, as far as I can tell, it does nothing to the game other than just give you extra little bits to uh, get an achievement or something like that. What the hell was this? That's massive. Okay, I think we've got all three. Um, I don't know where that came from. So... New buildings are ready to be built. There we go. Finally got enough. Uh, but only for cider. So we need to build a bit more. So yeah, as New I was... House is very good. Oh, Your settlement will my soon God. have enough inhabitants to build the chapel. As I was going to complain at the very beginning, the layout here, um, not ideal, not uh, not so great. And since we are kind of stuck with it, I am not too thrilled. We do have a, a gap here that I can run a road that way. However, okay, so it'll run right along the edge of that. I do think I could put another one down here. We are kind of low on the wood. Why don't I preemptively do that? 
We're making... we're not making money. Wow. I figured by this point we would be, but we're not. Uh, we need 90 peasants, and... let's see... They should tell me... Oh, there we go, 75. So I'm gonna need to add more. Oh, building materials. Yes, so we'll be adding that. And we can always move it because that's a rather central location and uh, not terribly optimized. Probably push more back here. We're going to have to eventually build one of these market buildings out here to expand my territory. So we'll just keep pushing out there. Um, Alright, I was going to just expand out this way. I don't know if I want to expand... Yeah, I guess. I was going to cut it off there and just have a little road, because if I put something here... Uh, cider farms... Kind of large, actually. Uh, we could probably put a cider farm right there. I would like to have, just for role-playing purposes, I'd like to have some kind of separation. You know, it would actually fit very well right in there. Um, oh, well, so these people well, aren't well. living right next to Your us. Your settlement but. has grown considerably. If we all pull together, the first mass will soon be held in the chapel. All right. So, yeah, because of its location, we're not really going to get everybody. I guess, you know, if I put it over here, that's a lot of waste of space. Well, I see that your supply of tools is running low. If you drop by my warehouse, I'll gladly sell you a few tons of tools. Yeah, that's another quest. Now, that's where I'm having a problem. Am I going to finish this before, or are these necessary? See, I don't... Since it says it's Please a profession of faith... The capital stones to the warehouse in my city. They're waiting for them at the... All right. Are those optionals, or am I going to complete the mission by going over there? I'm pretty sure I need that little chapel, so let's go see. And then maybe I can pick up those tools. Because I believe picking up the tools is also a quest. Or at least it counts as one. Yeah, with all the wood requirements, we just need more. And I don't know that we can really upgrade these to be faster. I mean, other than oh, using the fast finally. key. Can the dock workers unload the cargo now and take the capital stones to the construction site? Thanks to you, we've made excellent progress on the cathedral construction work. Here, take these tools. They're bound to come in useful when you extend your settlement. Ah, welcome. Did you really manage to salvage the entire cargo? Thank you so much for your efforts. Losing that cargo would certainly have been a considerable setback for the cathedral construction project. Okay, good. I'm truly delighted that you are here. Yet His Majesty's health is worrying me. Rumor has it that his illness is incurable. A good deal is always a welcome change. Should we just grab them all? Yeah. I'd be happy to help you. I, I guess you did? What is that? I guess it's just pointing that... I mean, it... They've got more, right? We must avoid further ships meeting with accidents and endangering construction of the cathedral. Map both reefs and bring the charts to me. Ah, okay. So here's one I have not yet completed. So I've probably got enough for that chapel then. Yes, by now I do. So we'll finish off these side quests. I'm, I'm not going to do that for every chapter just because. But uh, for this early one, I think the... Lack of content in the mission will suffice. An island was successfully mapped. Okay, where's that other one? Right about here. There we go. Another shipwreck and a lots of goodies to pick up. That's that's nice. An island was successfully mapped. Will I be able to pick them up, though? Is that a... goods hold? Yes, it is. Good. Hopefully these are all wood, because that's the only way this is going to work. I'll just take this unnecessarily back to my city, and then we'll 
finish off what I think is the end. Okay, drop this off. And uh, we are now in a positive, that's good. In fact, what I could do, since we don't have enough to evolve these guys, I could just jump them up a bit on the taxes. Probably should have been doing that the whole time, although we seem to be doing all right. I don't think this early on we're going to run out of money. In we go, there we go, okay. Uh, good, we're done. And, no, 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 no. All we have to do then is take the maps over. Speed that along. Ah, are these the charts of those reefs that I can give to my captains? Splendid. Thanks to your maps, we won't lose any more ships in the future. Okay. I'm truly delighted that you are here. So how much... I think we've got plenty of... Plenty of tools right now, so let's go ahead and go finish. Did, what? Did I pick those up, or did I get that as a reward? What's your deal? Good space is full on the wood. Okay, so, yes. Um, before I was interrupted again. <sighs> Better to put it over here, because if I'm going to expand housing, it's going to have more impact that way than it will over here. Really, I think I would need more than one to get a full settlement, but uh, for coverage, I guess we'll just do this right now. It, it also lines up nicely with that. One thing that's always bothered me about the Anno games is that the buildings are always mismatched in size. That really is annoying. Um, we can, like the fountain, I think. Yeah, the fountain is just a, a beautification structure. It is, however, two by two. But I, I believe there are other beautification structures that will allow me to uh, fill in gaps and the like. But anyway, let's build this and finish. Oh, what a wonderful chapel you've built. The enthusiasm you've shown gives me hope that I, too, shall soon complete my Imperial Cathedral. Not only do you run your fiefdom with a sure hand, but you even found the time to help me at the construction site. The Emperor will be delighted to learn that he was right to appoint you to this position. All right, let's see if we Look, got it all. The scaffolding is finally up at the cathedral construction site. The first phase is complete. Oh, I really don't know how to thank you for all your help. Money's nice. Now we can start on the foundations for the masonry. But what's this? I see ships on the horizon. Who could this be? Agonizing. In the name there we go. Of the Emperor and Cardinal Lucius, I declare the following resolution to halt the Saracen advance. A Crusader army is to be dispatched to protect the Empire. It is the honor and duty of every vassal to support this effort to the best of his ability. Come on. Oh my god, there we go, finally. All right. Uh, so I, I got them all. Good, okay. That is probably not going to be, as I've said, uh, a common thing. So, well, I think this will just jump me right into the next thing. So, uh, just end this one here, I guess. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, again, I'm hoping that as more things open up for us to do, uh, we'll have a lot less hand-holding, and uh, the pace of this will be a little bit faster, although, who knows. So anyway, I'll end this one here. I'll see you next time.